Okay, for those of you guys, welcome to another episode of Planet Base. Planet Base is a sci-fi colony build-up where you get jettisoned into space with a bunch of strangers and it is up to you to keep them alive and to create a thriving colony. Now, <clears throat> we already created our, we started our, our colony on this green blurry thing in the background here. That's our S-Class suicide planet and we want to continue that. <clears throat> so let's go, press continue. Now, where did I leave you off last time? Uh, we were at exactly why, uh, which direction we wanted to expand, and um, get some more, um, some more energy out, because we were running low on energy. Uh, we have a bunch of these power clutches available; they're all full right now at the moment, but um, they keep draining really fast. And uh, we have had a couple of days where we had some blackouts and some problems with. Um, uh, with our production, which is what we don't like. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that at all. So what we have done is we have just temporarily turned everything a little bit off, <laughs> which of course we can turn back on again. Get everything back up and running. Uh, everything should be full now. All the power clutches should be done. So let's go ahead and enable the rest of the grid. Uh, the power should jump up to 241. We need to get the power up, uh, our production up to 500, so we can get the power monger mi uh, milestone. We are currently only allowing traders to drop by as we want to get rid of some of this material that we have. We have a lot of medical supplies and we have uh, quite a bit of the uh, starch that we want to sell. Uh, we would also like, I would like, to expand in this direction. Don't ask me why. <laughs> it's, just, it's something in my head just telling me that, to go in this direction. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm kind of wondering if I should. Um, is that a good idea? Uh, I don't think so yet, but my, my brain is telling me to go this way. Um, smart move though, would be to expand in this direction and to get some more mines up and running. Now, we can't build anything here yet uh, because, well, for some reason we can't really put anything down. Uh, it doesn't allow us to build it. We can, we can build it here. That would work, but it'll be a, a bit of an overlap, quite a significant overlap. I don't really want to do that. I'd rather build something over here. The only problem is that that would immediately disrupt our progress in this direction. We would never be able to build anything here except for utilities. Don't really want to do that. So I can build this big one here. That would allow us to uh, expand in this direction still without having uh, any, any more, without being in danger of being struck by lightning. So this thing is going to cause a little bit of an overlap, um, particularly with this guy over here which is also in our green zone. Um, can, we, can we put it down again? <laughs> can we put it down? Come on. Um, but we need to have... Holy, is that what, I saw that. I saw that. That was a lot of power there. So right now, we have a bit of an issue. This uh, wind turbine that we're building here is going to be outside of the green zone. So we need to get that uh, secure. And the best thing we can do is build an additional... A lightning rod over here uh, a small one I think that would be best and um, potentially have some more I think maybe another big wind turbine like that um, right there and then have a nice either a small one or a big one um, uh, yeah lightning rod over here that should keep all of us safe keep everything here safe we can of course build a big one right like that and that would be better because then we would have everything inside of this range uh, I think that would be I think that that'll be the better solution so I think that um, if we build the really big one over here that would allow us to uh, to expand to keep keep expanding this direction with the utilities and uh, focus our, uh, our colony efforts somewhere else now uh, so let's just leave that for next for next time. We don't need that yet. Uh, why are you so unhappy? Um, you you're just really unhappy because you had to walk so far. Of course you are. So we want to have some more mines. We want to have that production up and running because we have an additional production production uh, processing plant over here that we can actually start using. So we, I want to put down some more of these uh, metal processors here and some more plastic processors. Excellent. Now that's going to get uh, built and made. Let's remove the dome so we can see what we're doing, so we can see all the little sausages. Actually, look at them all walking around. Perfect. 
<clears throat> they're all pretty happy. We are oh <laughs> not so happy. We're decent. That's that's not that's new. I didn't expect that. But that's because we don't have the robots yet. We're still building the robots and we need to get that uh, process up and running as soon as possible. We have currently four drill bots, two carry bots, and one constructor bot. <clears throat> So that makes a lot of these people unhappy. Um, also, a lot of them are just just plain unhappy because of reasons. I'm not quite sure exactly why. Uh, we'll have to sort that out soon enough later in the game. Now, one of the things that I do want to do is get our food production above the uh, 150 mark. To do that, we want to build an additional um, large, quite large um, biodome over here. And, uh, and get that sorted. So how is our power production? 66 and we have we still have these three we're almost halfway we still have but a bit of power collector still available so no real big deal right there. Let's see what do you have? You have the ooh, the colossal panel patent. Six, oh, 60 percent commission that's pretty expensive. Mm, drill a bot? Could use a drill a bot. What's this? This is a constructor bot. I want to drill a bot. That's a good idea. Let's give you a whole bunch of these guys and some uh, some food. Uh, one coin. There we go. Excellent. Let's do that. Let me get an additional driller bot. Um, that will help us in getting some more resources. Uh, driller bots are more efficient than our miners at getting stuff out of the ground. Who would have known, right? <laughs> And uh, we can focus our workers on actually producing stuff. So let's get these people happy. They are trying to get happy, but for some reason it's not really working. It's back on, on good again, but it should be an excellent. We have more than enough space for these people to sleep. See, not, not all the beds are actually... Uh, well, this one is full, but not all the beds are taken yet. So we have a lot of space available. We have an additional bar here we can't really fill because... There's not enough food or the food is too far away so we can't really do anything with that yet uh, so we'll leave that for now um how is our power power seems to be okay i guess all right well it's it's <laughs> it's dropping like a stone that's for sure um we still have two really big power clusters over there we need to build another one actually as a matter of fact i think we should put one over here a nice big one and then uh we should put down this guy Put them over here, right? Is that a good idea? Putting them over there? No, I think I, I I'll put them over here instead. <clears throat> like so. So that should get us um, a little bit more power stored away. And of course, get us a little bit more power production from this additional wind turbine that we're building here. We need one more metal though. Uh, who's going to give me that? So we have had our biodomes on uh, priority for a while now. I'm going to reduce that. Um, mainly because I think that it's not necessary anymore. We do need this on high, pro uh, high priority still for the time being because we need those spares. Currently, what, what do we have with the spares? Spares are, are on 10. Uh, I'm going to put them on 15. We have so many utilities that require uh, maintenance that we definitely need more spares. <coughs> Not at the moment, but we will need them in the future. All right, I want another robotics facility. A robotics plant in mean, um, a workshop so we can get some more bots built. We are so close. Right, but right now I want to focus on this power production thing. So I'm going to put this on high priority so we get that metal sent there as soon as possible. How? Uh, that's, this is a bit of a problem. The wind is coming. I mean, the, the storm is coming, and the morning is going to break any second now. Um, it's a bit of an issue because, well, we need that sunlight. Sunlight is a vital part of our power production system. Since, um, well, if we, if we only rely on the wind turbines, we won't have enough power. Oh, uh, we can, of course, also rely on the lightning. <laughs> that still helps. <coughs> we want a bio 
dome over here so we can supply our buildings over here with food and eventually our bar over here with materials uh, so they can get some more beers made which is excellent that's what we want I'm not quite sure exactly why we get so few uh, traders to land is that that might have to do with our current status our prestige once we get that a bit higher uh, I think that more people or more traders will come to us we have four guards out of the 11 uh, armed that's of course pretty sad uh, but these things are not the priority at the moment for some strange reason. They sent all of their um, semiconductors directly to the bots workshop, which is great. Because we, well, uh, we need more bots, um, but we also need the spares. <laughs> so do we get everything here yet? No, we still haven't gotten that yet. Even though we have... Oh, we need some metal over here. We need one more metal. Power storage is low. Yes. It's, uh, it's It'll be fine. I think. <laughs> There's no wind. Uh, and we are completely dependent on power. But there's also a 99% uh, or 100% cloud cover. So there's no power being generated by our solar panels at the moment. Definitely a problem. That means that our collectors here are draining really fast uh, and we only have one left <clears throat> so we, we might need to turn some stuff off let me just I'm, I'm going to turn these guys off um, they are pretty much useless anyway at the moment uh, like that I'm also going to turn this off we don't need that this off we don't need that um, you I can turn off we're not gonna get any visitors you can go off how's the power right now okay 198 out of 172 okay power storage is critical it's fine don't get so we can turn something else off right what else can we turn off we don't what we don't need we don't need sick bay um, I, don't, I don't see anybody hurt and if we do see somebody hurt we can always just get some more power <laughs> that also works for me uh, we don't need the uh, storage department over here on we can turn that off as well we should be producing more power than we need yep there we go Excellent. <clears throat> All right, that's how we do this thing. That's how we do it. So we can still keep on producing metal and everything else that we need uh, without being in danger of a, a blackout. Oh, we have somebody here with a broken arm. So we need to turn this puppy on back on again. All right, well, enjoy yourself at sickbay. How is power doing now? Because we turn one building on, I su immediately suspect that we'll be on a blackout route. <laughs> Oh, I'm so paranoid with these blackouts. It's, it's okay, though. Um, how is this doing? We still haven't got that metal. Why can't we get this metal? Why isn't anybody coming to get this metal done? Why? Oh, he's coming, though, I think. He's going to airlock. Yes! And so he's going to come bring us the metal that we need. And that will help us progress. Can we put a... No, it's way too small, right? Yeah, it's way too small. We can, well, I don't want to put it there. Uh, we can reach all the way over there, though. Will it be in the green? It will be. So if we put a solar panel over here, um, that will allow us to actually... Now, then we can continue with the, with, the, um, with the utilities in this direction. How is water doing? I haven't looked at water for a while. Okay, water's still doing fine. We have uh, 25, 28 out of 25, 5, 25 out of 28 uh, being used. It's excellent. We don't need to turn that on yet. We have five spares available. Perfect. Let me turn this back on again. Um, power should be popping off right now. Yep, 304. Should get us a little bit of power in our power collectors. It won't be enough to go through the night, to so survive the night. Uh, but it will get us through the remainder of the day. That's for sure. We got two people with a burn, broken arm here. <laughs> so that means we need, we need, we definitely need more, more uh, driller bots. But I want more carrier bots because my colonists are not happy uh, doing manual labor. So doing one, building one driller bot at a time is, is fine at the moment. Do we have a little limit on driller bots? No. I want, I want five driller bots for now. 
and I want uh, 15 carrier bots. Structure bots, I think I will just keep it on three. We, we can't build structure bots yet, but it's fine. Uh, semiconductors, uh, let's put this on 15 guns, right? Should be fine, right? Oh, why, why am I doing that? Um, we need to know exactly. We have four guards that are armed. It's not enough. We need more guards armed. I need more guns. Why can't I put this on priority? How is this thing doing? Uh, they don't have any metal yet. Uh, the gun workshop does have a uh, semiconductor. It is ready to get building on that uh, on that gun. So does this one as well. But it just needs the metal. Metal is always gonna is always gonna be an issue in this colony or in any game, pretty much because well, uh, you never have enough colonists and never enough uh, ore. <coughs> So you want to keep building more mines, but those mines need to be uh, manned by workers. And if you don't have enough workers, well, then you won't get enough ore either. So it's it's a vicious circle. You need to have, let's, let's turn one of these guys back on again so we can get at least something to land here. Um, night is, it's, it's definitely fallen uh, in, in the night right now and we have We'll, we'll see the the power jumping or uh, dropping real fast because we're not producing any. There's no wind turbines. I mean, no wind, and um, uh, and no sun. So uh, I'm gonna have to turn some stuff off again. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna turn off one of these mines. This one is not working anyway. This one uh, is fine. We don't need that one on. Let's just keep these two on. That's okay. I want to keep this uh, landing pad on, actually. I don't want to turn that off. What I do want to turn off is this puppy and uh, this one as well. We don't need the, the spares at the moment. Uh, I need the uh, metal, so I'm going to turn that, keep that on. Uh, what I don't need at the moment is sick bay. And the lab, I'll, I'll keep that on. We can definitely turn. Well, let's turn this, this smaller uh, production facility off as here and keep this one running. Um, but we definitely don't need to have this one up and running. Let's turn that one off. Get everybody to bed. We can turn the storage departments off. So no storing of anything of any kind. Uh, that will, that's lowered our, uh, our use, our power use at the moment to the lowest possible setting. It's such a shame that we have that we have no storm no wind no sun uh, ideal situation to generate solar power uh, and we can't make use of it is that great so we have a bit of space here i see that uh, and over here now i want to uh, um to expand in this direction because you can see that we have a lot of space over here which is excellent and i want to hook up to this building over here so i want to go all the way around this lake, lake of methane. Uh, and I think the best way we can do that is by continuing the biodome chain. So we wanna have, we have a bunch of biodomes here. So I wanna build more biodomes over in this direction. So starting of course over here, uh, but I don't have any uh, protection over there. So I think that it'll be best to do that over here instead. So we wanna go for the really big biodome, the seven. Um, Mainly because we have the plastic and yeah, well, the metal is, 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 we'll get the metal eventually, right? So let's put this, put this on priority. I want everybody working on this thing. <laughs> there should be enough ore in here, right? Yeah, there is plenty. How is our power doing? We're getting 137. Oh, we have our second power collector. We have a power collector already. <sighs> okay, here comes the rain. I need some metal here as well. This puppy needs to get uh, built as soon as possible. We are generating more power than we need with 204, 205 kilowatts of power. Excellent. That means we can turn this puppy on. Uh, no, we can't. <laughs> uh, I just saw that just jump <laughs> right up. 
Uh, that's uh, five and a half uh, kilowatts of power there. That's uh, being drained, of course. It's not an issue. We it's, it's 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 still a very slow drip of power. We'll leave it. Um, if it comes to the point where we'll have uh, low power warnings and stuff like that, or critical power warnings, then we can turn stuff off. But right now, I just I just need that metal. I need this stuff uh, produced. And as you can see, our lightning rod over here is coming along nicely. Which means, which means, which means, if we want to up, uh, continue in the progress uh, in this direction with our uh, biodomes, which I'm not quite sure if I want to do that. Um, we can put down a lightning rod over here. Should be able to, right there, right there. That We only need a small one. We don't need a really big one. Just good news. We can put it over here as well. Uh, that will allow us to build two additional mines here. Uh, one over here and one over here. So one, one there. Like so. Let's see, can you put the lightning rod down? Yeah, there. And I think there was one more space over here. Yeah. So that's good. So we'll we'll do that in a future episode. So we, we can definitely turn this into a mining production center. It's excellent. That's what we want. All right. We have the the, the materials necessary for our lighting rod over here. So uh, now I haven't seen what happens if this spot gets struck while it's being constructed. Right. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. Did the, did the, does the engineer get killed? <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Um, wait, uh, do we have more power than when we started? Oh, excellent. The storm is at 100%. Perfect. So that means that we'll have some sunlight in the afternoon. And we have a trader. We have a bit of uh, medical supplies to trade. Excellent. And we have some, also some starch and other stuff that we can sell this guy. We ha he has a gun. <laughs> and he has the farm dome. So he has 60% commission. I don't have the money. And he doesn't have anything. I uh, Metal. He does have metal. Uh, but I'm going to sell him my uh, medical supplies instead. And some of my uh, stock here. And I'm going to take his money. Oh, no, that's all I want. And take mm, metal is very expensive to buy. That's immediately an additional thirty or twenty-four um, uh, coin right there. I can throw in some meat. Everybody likes meat, right? I would like to have all of your metal, though. <laughs> Can I take all of your metal? That would be nice. Uh, I, I will give you st starch for that in return. And all my meat. I don't need all my meat anyway. Uh, and then maybe... Like that? Can we do that? No, I don't need, I don't need the meat. I, I do need that. Um. <clears throat> okay, let's do that. That will give us a whole bunch of coin and some metal. With the metal, we can definitely build some more stuff, uh, particularly some more uh, solar panels and uh, more metal. I mean, more energy generating uh, facilities, uh, which is good. We want that <clears throat> so we can get this party started and get that uh, 1,000 or 500 uh, uh, kilowatts um, limit. <clears throat> Alright, the lighting rod has been built. It's going to be hooked up to the system. Perfect. Now we are safe here. This, this this entire section here is now safe. Perfect. We have a little bit of overlap. It's fine. So these buildings here are now uh, no longer in any kind of danger. Um, how's our power generation? 401. Excellent.
It's just that, that we are generating 401 kilowatts of power even with the 80% uh, cloud cover. So that's pretty good. Um, I think we're doing really well in that regard. What I could do and could use though is this metal. Can we get that? Oh, and we run, we run out of spares as well. So <laughs> I need to turn this back on again. How, how is our power generation? Uh, that's fine. So let's turn this on as well. There we go. Uh, this can stay off. We don't need that. Uh, plastic. We have a lot of plastic, so I can. we can definitely build the bar. Let's do that. Two of these machines. Uh, let's put three of these machines. Why not? And I want the smaller ones. Um, no, I want, definitely want the bigger one. Like that, and put some water here, and perhaps even a TV. Now, I want the TV to go on this side. Oh, we reached power monger status. Excellent, we have 500 kilowatts of power. We are generating a ton of power. <laughs> All right, I get that one. All right, because we have a sick bay here, we can potentially um, build some mines over here as well. Not that I want to, but it is possible. I don't want to. <laughs> Let's put some beds down. And of course, a, uh, a cabinet. Let's see, do we have, how many beds do we have here? We have, this thing is completely full and two cabinets. I want the same over here. We have the plastic, so it's, it's perfectly fine. It's like the one million uh, dollar man. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that really old series. Um, one million dollar man, of course, is kind of cheap, but it's okay. And um, one of the quotes that they have is, uh, they can do it, they can rebuild them, and they will, they should. <laughs> Which I find kind of funny. <clears throat> All right, so this mine's back on again. And let's put the priority on those up as well. Just one extra additional up. Um, that's fine. How is our power? Power should be off the scale. 500 kilowatts of power, 544. Nice. And we're going to have this additional solar panel here built. So we'll get that up to 600 kilowatts uh, of power, which is exactly what we need because well, sometimes we reach 300 kilowatts of power if we turn everything back on again. So let's, let's, turn, let's turn everything on. Everything is enabled right now. So this is going to jump up to 256. Uh, so we are in the sweet spot. Uh, 256 kilowatts of power, 500 is perfect. Um, but that's with everything in our way, in our uh, favor. So we have full sunlight with very little cloud cover and pretty high winds. And that allows us to generate quite a significant amount of power. Now, the problem is, of course, is that that is not realistic because we don't really have that condition all the time. So we want to have more of a balanced um, power generation system. How, is our, how are our bots doing? So we have, these guys are, of course, all fine. Uh, we just need to get the semiconductors built. Um, so I want more engineers. Let's put the colonists back on again and get those engineers back here. There we go. Now the only problem is, is, are these friendlies or are these nasties? I'm going to assume they're nasties. Because <laughs> that was pretty fast. Oh, we got another biologist. Excellent. We have 32 biologists. Uh, which is good. That means that we have a nice balance between workers and biologists. So we, oh, we always need to have more biologists than workers. We have four more metal here. Perfect. That, that would mean that this puppy, this solar panel, should get built really fast. We only need three metal. And there's already one metal coming over here. Uh, so that means we can definitely start producing, or we start building this additional really big um, uh, biodome over here. Let's go ahead and put that down. Is that still in the green? Yes, just barely. We will also need an additional water extractor. I want to put it over here. Trouble is that that might just be a little bit... Yeah, this is better. It'll still be in the green barely, but it'll be fine. 
Um, I think that's a better idea. So we'll have the biodome. This is going to take a whole chunk of water. Uh, we are producing quite a bit, 28, but it's it's not going to be the 28 is not going to be enough to uh, to supply this big biodome. We need more of it, more I say. And uh, that's only one. The only way we can do that is by building more of these beautiful water extractors. All right, here's the metal. Can we actually use it? I'm going to turn this, some of these pads off. Uh, the big ones, particularly that one, takes up a huge chunk of power. But we are generating quite a bit of power. It's quite good. 232. Excellent. That's a, uh, a reasonable high speed wind speed. Wind is dropping right now, so that also means our power generation is dropping, but it's fine. Uh, we have seven metal. That's good. Um, that means we can get the biodome quite fast, right? How much metal do we need here? This is still very far away. It's very far. So my colonists have to walk quite a distance to get that set up. Um, what what do I need over on this side? I have a canteen. It's a small one, right? Or is it, it's a medium canteen, medium sized canteen. So my assumption is that we we have a medium sized canteen right there, and we have a small sized canteen. So why is there the option to build a large canteen? Right? Is this the large canteen? Is this the, this is the medium? Right. This is also a medium, right? So okay, then we oh yeah, okay, we have the this is the the other option is the, the large canteen, which is of course which we, which we, which we can build over here. We will we'll be building that over there. Um, or actually better said over here. We want to build another bio lab, a biodome over there and keep this chain running uh, going. Thanks for that. That was uh, not necessary, but very, very pleasant. <laughs> Got some more power there. We are constantly full. Excellent. I love it. Doing great. Uh, no problems here. Everybody seems to be fine. You don't have a gun, do you? No. You, well, you do have a gun. Why? Why don't... So I have a lot of... Um, a lot of my people are, are not happy. How do I resolve that? I would like to get uh, some more cabins in. Just looking for a good spot to put a cabin. I, I don't want to put it here because then I'll be blocking that route. I can put it here. A nice big cabin. Because I, I already have this big biodome over there that will allow me to continue over in this expanding in this direction. That's not a big deal. Um, we got some more colonists. Excellent. Um, how do I get these people happier? See, the, 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 the cabin isn't even full. So... Uh, there's definitely space for them to move in. Hmm. I also want to get rid of this power collector over here. And uh, get it, replace it with a, a big power collector over there. So we have some space over this side. So potentially we could build another cabin like right there. Nice big one. That would allow us to do that. Run out of spares again. Don't worry, we're building more spares. Right? Yes. But no um, semiconductors, though. That's a shame. We'll get that sorted eventually, right? So let's see, we have... Some people are tired. Most of them are tired, actually. And this guy's hungry. How is our food doing? Our food is fine. How is our ready meals? Our ready meals are pretty low. Is that the reason why people are hungry? Well, we have a lot of ready meals in here. Uh, we have a lot of ready meals in here. No, not that many, actually. Actually, there is very few uh, available. So I think we need another additional... Although we do have all of this. There's a whole bunch of ready meals there. So you can eat that. And we'll be... Some more power. Thanks. Look at that go up. <laughs> so we'll be. Oh, here comes the dome. We'll be building an additional uh, canteen over here. Right after I put this biodome right there. I want this biodome to be here. 
And then I want the canteen to go in between, right, like that. So let's remove that. So I want this canteen over here to be the supply hub for this section. So everybody will be able to eat here. That works here or there or sleeps here. They can come here and, and eat. Now, um, one thing that we might have a problem with is the fact that we have our cabin connected not to a oxygen generator, but to a uh, biodome. So that means that as soon as we build anything uh, additional to this biodome, the this biodome and this cabin are going to run into an oxygen problem. So we might need to rethink our situation here. I think it's better if we put down a, an additional oxygen generator here instead of a uh, biodome. Let's put that down. Replace that, get rid of that. We don't need that at the moment. Uh, we want to have some more food. So more tomatoes. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Uh, more lettuce. Okay, let's remove that one. Because I think that would be, it'll be better if we leave that free for now. Uh, and we want some more of this puppy's stuff. Let's, let's, no, we have an, enough. We have enough medical plants. This is good. This is good for now. Let's keep it like that. How is our water generation? 29. Excellent. Um, we need some more. We need two more metal here. Which should be coming soon. We have some more colonists. 108 colonists at the moment. Excellent. Are these guys... No, they're good. They're friendly. They're friendly. <laughs> so we have 22 engineers. Uh, we need more engineers. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the colonists engineers on the 100%. Um, so we can raise that a bit. This guy is very unhappy. Why? He's not very unhappy. He's just a little bit unhappy. He's a bit disgruntled. But why does that influence... Why does his little disgruntled but have to influence my uh, status. It's kind of mean. <coughs> Alright, we have a cabin built. Let's put some beds down. Let's hope these people don't suffocate. Alright, there we go. We've run out of plastic. That went pretty fast, actually. <laughs> uh, not that we can't manage that that'd be fine there, there's no workers here to take uh, to work in this this sector so we definitely need more workers that's a definite indication that we have too few workers at the moment how is our bot construction going ah really badly they don't they need more they need those semiconductors that's for sure power is fine 520 kilowatts of power excellent and um well, status is good. They can go to the bar, right? Is there any? Yeah, they have. There's a lot of drink here. Um, they can have fun there. Should we? Do, do they miss something else? Is there something else that they would like to have? We can put down. Can we put down a, uh, a multi dome? Can we put that here? Is that something that we can do? No, we can't. We can only put it over here and have a little bit more entertainment over this side. Hmm. Yeah, you have to be an alco alcoholic to actually want to go and drink beer. <laughs> because it's made from onions. Uh, how disgusting would that have to taste? And now something else we're here with a broken arm. And he's going to bed. Well, you go take a nice little nap. Uh, why are you people all so unhappy? Hmm. They they all seem to have everything that they require, except for, of course, they, that they have to travel so far to get to wherever they're going. But why are they traveling so far? My assumption is that the medics don't have to go very far. They, 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 they work here, right? So where are they getting? Uh, medicinal plants? Is that what you're coming to do? Why are you going outside? Going to get medical supplies. All right, so he's going to try and refill the cabinet. Uh, but it's it's a bit far away. A lot of my workers are unhappy. Is that because I have the mines on high... Um, 
priority at the moment. Let's reduce that. Let's reduce this as well. We already have a milestone, so we don't necessarily need to go for the uh, for another milestone that quickly. Um, this is all good. So maybe this will reduce the um, the unhappiness. Well, I think the only way we can, we can reduce the unhappiness is by getting some more carrier bots. Right? We need more bots. Uh, for that, we want more... We need, we need to have more um, semiconductors. And for that, we need some more metal. <laughs> so we'll, 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 we'll do a little bit of a, uh, a build stop once we have that solar panel built. So all the metal can go to these factories here instead. Which is what we uh, which we what we need at the moment. Uh, we got another additional engineer. What's his name? Come on, what's your face? Uh, Diona. She's going to get vegetables. <laughs> so we have this guy over here, Darius Sosa. Um, he's hungry, and he's very unhappy. But that's because he had to walk so far to get food. Hmm. We definitely need more bots. But I can't put this on higher priority than it already is. It's already a maximum priority and it, it's just not getting what it needs. So, um, as soon as the... Well, the water structure has been built. Excellent. And the as soon as this solar panel is built, uh, I will give it a bit of a rest. I think we have enough power generation at the moment uh, to actually sustain us. I mean, this is uh, the end of the day, and um, we uh, all of our solar capacitors, our solar uh, power collectors are full, and we don't need more. So right now, I think it's an excellent idea to just let it rest a little bit and let the natural process of trickle-down economics <laughs> for metal uh, do its thing. So they'll be still be they'll still be making uh, metal, a steel, whatever. And it will eventually end up in these machines, right? Uh, including the semiconductor foundries, right? So what do you have? Oh, I don't have any medical supplies though. Hmm. It's mainly because I don't have any more plastic. Uh, I can't. I can't take your. You're also very expensive. So no, thank you. Goodbye. You don't have anything I want, and you are way too expensive. Okay, this guy's going to the spares workshop. All good. Uh, no, put it in this one with this plastic. No, no. He put it in there. <laughs> Why didn't you put it with the plastic? Uh, um, it's fine. We'll we'll leave it to go as as is right now, and uh, we'll see what happens. They'll, they'll produce a whole bunch of metal because they have a lot of ore. And that metal will, uh, will certainly find its way into those machines. So we're producing 40 drops of water. Uh, way more than we actually need. We have food over here being produced by these guys. We have biodome available. We have another additional oxygen generator built now finally. Uh, so we can now finally stop thinking about building more stuff. So we have a limit now of 198 colonists. So that's good. We're on our way to that uh, consolidation milestone is great right now these are the milestones we have power monger century expansion survival self-sufficiency and standing robotization is something we'll be uh, getting pretty soon because we have uh you only need two more bots you can either buy that those two bots or we can produce them ourselves they'll be fine um so we have a whole bunch of people sleeping some more slots available i would like to build an, an additional um spot for them to sleep I'm just looking for a nice little connection here can we can we connect it up to there no it's not possible is it it's too bad I would like to connect it up to here so we can get rid of this wind turbine but it's just not possible so are you guys friendly or are you no, you're friendly <laughs> welcome Mickey <laughs> it's good all right, if you have the ears, then you're fine. All right, let's see. Um, welfare is decent. 
Do we have any semiconductors with metal? Uh, I'm going to assume no. But metal is on its way. Uh, we do have a bit of problem with plastic though. Plastic seems to be taking its time. Why is that? What's happening over here? There's nobody on the plastic machines. Everybody's sleeping. Alright, it's fine. Just, just sleep. Just go to sleep, everybody. And um, take it easy a little bit. Okay, we need some more biologists. There's definitely not enough. These, these pads are not getting the attention they need. Uh, but it, it's also night time, so maybe the biologists are sleeping. So we'll give it we'll give it some time. See what happens, right? This guy's coming with some ore. Excellent. Uh, drill robots are in plentiful supply. <laughs> so I want to have I, I would like to have ten drill robots. Can I can I let me just expand that to ten? I can't put six there, but ten is okay. But it doesn't really matter how many bots I want if I don't get the semiconductors. I need the semiconductors to give me uh, that metal. I mean that, uh, that's that, that, that material that I need. It's not going to come by itself. So plastic is an issue. Metal is an issue. Power no longer an issue. Hmm. Well it's doing okay I guess. Just need to get that uh, metal production a bit higher. It's already pretty high. We don't have enough people to actually run all the machines. So we need to focus, we need to look at that as well. We need to get that colony ships and so on to come in and supply our colony. If we can get the number of workers up to 50, that would uh, solve most of our so our problems. Then we would have all of our mines uh, full of colonists, of workers, and we'd have all the machines uh, running constantly. This is what we want. Look at them. They're all little drinkers. Good guys. Just talking your worries away, your sadness. Talking about how you left your family behind on Earth to give them a decent living. Well, it'll come. Anyways, that's it for today. This is a. It's been a nice episode. We reached another milestone, and in the next episode, we'll reach the um, uh, the robotization milestone. I'm pretty sure of it. It's, it's not that far away. And then we can focus on the big ones. The uh, milestone for the uh, megalomania and technocracy. Because techno technocracy is not that far away. We, we only need uh, eight of the ten um, tech still to go. So anyways, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. It's fine. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.